August 19th Self-Awareness Matthew 11:28 says, Come to me. God intends for us to live a well-rounded life in Christ Jesus. But there are times when that life is attacked from the outside. Then we tend to fall back into self-examination, a habit that we thought was gone. Self-awareness is the first thing that will upset the completeness of our life in God. And self-awareness continually produces a sense of struggling and turmoil in our life. Self-awareness is not a sin, and it can be produced by nervous emotions or by suddenly being dropped into a totally new set of circumstances. Yet it is never God's will that we should be anything less than absolutely complete in Him. Anything that disturbs our rest in Him must be rectified at once. And it is not rectified by being ignored, but only by coming to Jesus Christ. If we will come to Him, asking Him to produce Christ awareness in us, He will always do it until we fully learn to abide in Him. Never allow anything that divides or destroys the oneness of your life with Christ to remain in your life without facing it. Beware of allowing the influence of your friends or your circumstances to divide your life. This only serves to sap your strength and slow your spiritual growth. Beware of anything that can split your oneness with Him, causing you to see yourself as separate from Him. Nothing is as important as staying right spiritually, and the only solution is a very simple one. Come to me, Matthew eleven twenty eight. The intellectual, moral, and spiritual depth of our reality as a person is tested and measured by these words. Yet in every detail of our lives where we are found not to be real, we would rather dispute the findings than come to Jesus.